31 days of prayer, scripture, and devotion brings encouragement to your day. Today I invite you to join me in a reading of Matthew chapter 21 verses 18 through 22. I'm reading from the message version. The reason I'd like for you to join me in this reading today because the story of the withered fig tree is so applicable in this day and time. When we look at and we witness the calamity and the chaos that's occurring within our nation, happening all around us, but yet most everybody you meet in your inner circles declare and proclaim themselves to be Christians, followers, and believers of Christ. So when I read this passage of scripture about the fig tree, are we most often looking at Christians who have a form of godliness, but they're lacking in power, they're lacking in fruitful production, and they're lacking in the actual evident lifestyle with the demonstration of the fruits of his power that's been seated within them. After all, The fig tree had the proper form. It looked like a fig tree. It had leaves like a fig tree. But upon closer examination, Jesus learned that the fig tree was not living up to its purpose by design. So again, join me today in this reading. And I'd like for you to give this some thought. Early the next morning, Jesus was returning to the city. He was hungry. Seeing a lone fig tree alongside the road, he approached it anticipating a breakfast of figs. When he got to the fig tree, there was nothing but fig leaves. He said, no more figs from this tree ever. The fig tree withered on the spot. A dry stick. The disciples saw it happen. They rubbed their eyes saying, Did we really see this? A leafy tree one minute, a dry stick the next? Verse 21. But Jesus was matter of fact. Yes, and if you embrace this kingdom life and don't doubt God, you'll not only do minor feats like I did to the fig tree, but also triumph over huge obstacles. This mountain, for instance, you'll tell, go jump in the lake, and it will jump. Absolutely everything ranging from small to large, as you make it part of your believing prayer, gets included as you lay hold to God. See, the problem with the fig tree is that it had not matriculated. Jesus reminds the disciples to make part of their believing prayer. Okay? That means that you have to pray with the belief that these things shall come to pass. We're really talking about faith here. And as the word also says, is that faith comes by hearing. Okay? Are you hearing the word of God and building yourself up in faith so that when you pray, you can pray from a position of believing, not wishing, not hoping, but believing. So when you pray, you need to pray from a position of belief. And also, the action part is laying hold on the things of God. When you lay hold on the things of God through faith and prayer in your life. Absolutely everything, ranging from small to large, becomes yours. Are you like the fig tree that Jesus cursed? Move beyond leaf production and actually start and begin to produce fruit and walk in the individual identity and fruitful production of who God has uniquely created you to be. Like Jesus was found going to the fig tree for the product that it was seemed to produce, you will find that once you start genuinely producing the fruit that God has called you to produce, people will seek you out for a taste 
of your fruit. They will begin to see your fruit as the means in which they can be filled. So don't be like the fig tree that we see here in this passage of Scripture. May God add a blessing to the reading of His Word. Amen. 31 Days of Prayer, Scripture, and Devotion is provided by TonyEmmahel.com.